So today we're frying shrimp. And if you're saying, well, how did you get roped into the frying the shrimp instead of the women? Well, it goes back a few years. And at one time, the women fried the shrimp around here. So Kay's half, uh, mother a Cajun, dad a redneck, for lack of a better term. So you figure, you know, half Cajun, she'd go with these shrimp. But uh, in her case, uh, too much of that redneck blood, I guess, it got in her. So she got to frying these shrimp and I was quiet at first. And I did something that America's afraid to do. I finally walked over here when they were frying them. What I was showing them was in order to eat well, food has to be critiqued. You must critique food. Well, in my case, Miss Kay and some of the girls they're over here frying the shrimp. I'm in there eating them, or trying to. So I finally walk in here one night and I said, you know what, gonna be a change of plans. I went ahead and had already voted. I'd already cast my vote earlier, but I decided to make it uh, formal. So I said, from now on, you girls won't have to fry shrimp anymore. They're like, really? I said, no more frying shrimp for y'all. They said, well, good night, out of the goodness of your heart. That is, you know, great. I said, the reason why I'm moving in on the shrimp frying is because I can beat that. I can beat what y'all are doing there. If you have a better idea, if you can prepare something better than someone else, I don't care whether it's food, electrical equipment, or anything else. If you come up with an idea that's better or a procedure or a practice that's better than the one you now have. Step up and announce it and prove that by what you're fixing to do because you have to prove it. Well, they turned it over to me about 20 years ago on the shrimp frying. Well, guess who always fries the shrimp now? They're saying, boy, feels fried shrimp. Boy, I'll tell you what, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody happy, see? You know why? I fry shrimp better than those girls. Once they saw that, they had to taste them first. Once they tasted my shrimp, they said that was a good idea. So look, I'll take a serrated knife. It grabs that little, that little, see right there? That, that, that's just trap bowel track. So I'm deveining them. Two reasons. One, to get that little intestinal track out of there. Two is, when I cut this halfway, I'm going halfway. See the little intestinal track right there? Look at that. See right there? Bingo. But look, see how that flared that out? Fries quicker. More batter on this too, tastes better. If you leave them, if you leave them solid, leave them solid if you're gonna fry them. Gumbos and stuff, we just throw them in there, take the tail off. I leave the tail on right here because you hold right there, see? Like that. Give you something to get a grip on. But look, I'm folding that out. Fries up quicker. Look, you have to eat or you will die of starvation. You have to eat as a human. No one disagrees with that. Well, you have two choices. You can eat slop and you can survive. It'll keep you alive. But if you have to eat anyway, why eat slop? Why not learn how to cook, how to peel and devein shrimp so that while you're here, you will eat well. Why not eat well while you're here since you have to eat anyway? Learn how to cook. Now the girls that won't go into their kitchens in America, oh, hey, hey. They're little kitchens, you know, little things, you know, they, they go out and eat out all the time. They critique the food when they go out. I like that restaurant. I don't like that one. I like, they're critiquing it so you know they know what good food is. But here's the beauty of this. You say, oh, this is gonna take me so much time. Okay, you spend 15 minutes max 
peeling and deveining a couple of pounds of shrimp. So you got that there. I'm looking, what am I trying to find? Uh, how about some little garlic salt? So I've got garlic salt here and I've got black pepper. That's all I'm gonna put on these. I'm gonna roll that, get a little black pepper down there. All I'm putting in is black pepper, garlic salt. I'm just sprinkling that. I'm not going whole hog while you think so, but it's not. A little garlic salt. What's that? Garlic powder. Well, there you go. A little garlic powder, a little garlic salt. See them eggs? For a batch that big, there's three eggs. That'd probably do it. But why not four? A little. Four eggs. Garlic powder and black pepper. No salt. Take your whisk. My fire's on wide open over there. You say, have you forgotten that fire? Nope. Hey, look. Watch that. You out there? Pop up the eggs, see? Garlic powder, garlic salt, a little bit on them, black pepper, egg, four egg, ready to go. I've got the fire wide open. So girls, look, I've got a lot of flour in there. So do that, don't do that here. See, I'm gonna roll that flour and make sure it covers all them shrimp. Don't do it right there, it could be flour everywhere. So get over in the sink. Got it? And look, I'm rolling it up. I'm rolling it up. I want the egg to stay on the shrimp. I've got a lot of flour. You said that looked like a lot of flour. The reason why is it's two pounds of shrimp. See, they're all breaded, but they're all coming apart. You don't put enough flour, you have a big glob. The reason I moved in on the shrimp frying, because those girls back there 20 years ago, they were frying them three or four at a time in a big old heavy batter. I thought I was just eating fried batter at every once in a while. Well, lo and behold, I run up on a shrimp in this batter. <laughs> With me, look, you get one at a time. See, there's the fried shrimp, there's the fried shrimp. I'm not taking out eight at a time all globbed together. That's what they were putting on us. So I had to break it up. You little yuppie girls are watching. Y'all watch this. See that, girls? Look at that. See that sizzle? Ready to go. So you want to move. These, this happens quickly. But I'm going to get a... So the shrimp are going in. You're not going to fry these long, girls. Minute, maybe. Minute and a half max. Don't load your pan down too much. They're almost there. They're light. Good to go. 40 seconds, maybe a minute. Boy, look at what you end up with. Look at this. Check that out. Fried shrimp. Look. You got them ready to go. Look here. Put a little dust on them. Don't go wild with it. And you just continue on. If you want your home life to go smoothly, you and your man, get in there and trade recipes, critique each other's cooking. You come out with good food. At the end of the journey, Miss Kay and I approve this. At the end of your journey, Life is much more peaceful and everybody's happy. Good food, it's a much needed thing in America. I know you know what good food is, that's why y'all go out all the time. Why not learn to cook? You're in the kitchen together, you're interacting, you're doing something productive, that's delicious. It just, what marriage ought to be about, see? You've got a woman, she ought to be your best friend by now. 
Y'all still, yeah, 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 still all going through all of that. Like you're 15, you know, you're 35 years old, and you're operating about like you're 12. Well, you learn how to cook, cook together. The wife, she cooks one thing. The husband, he's cooking something else. So we get in here and they throw these feeds all the time, free of charge. People come by. They love to come here. You know why? Food's good. Just eat well while you're here. Boy, these shrimp are looking good. So, 20 minutes. Oh, I just don't have enough time in the day to cook. You really don't, little girl? Well, how is it that I knock this out in 20 minutes and you're saying you don't have time to cook? 20 minutes? There they are. I'm just saying.